Hello, Foundry Church. This is the Nego Kirks. I am Scott. I'm Heidi. I'm Gage. I'm Cadence. And we are bringing you week eight, uh, day one introduction to Paul. This week we will study the life of a man who displayed beautifully, the idea of being a new creation. In fact, he started out as a man named Saul and ended up as the Apostle Paul. It is quite a story. After Jesus ascended into heaven, and the Holy Spirit was poured out on his believers, the church began to grow rapidly. Some were furious about this. One in particular was a young man named Saul. Saul had the best Jewish pedigree. His prestigious family, his education, his observance of every law and custom set him at the top of the heap. He hated what these Christians were saying, and destroying their movement was his obsessions. Saul stood off arrogantly, approving the stoning of the, Christ, the first Christian martyr. Stephen, the story of Stephen, is profound and beautiful. If you want to read it, you will find it in Acts 6 and 7. Saul began persecuting the church, chasing down converts wherever he could find them. This is where you will encounter Saul in your reading tomorrow, and what happens then was amazing. After that point, Saul was given a new name, Paul. His life was turned upside down, and he became one who was running and hiding. It was in that time that he spent alone with the Lord that Paul became the apostle who wrote half of the New Testament. Instead of forcing his way into the elite group who had known Jesus and thus had the right to be called apostles, Paul took a back seat. Through the Holy Spirit, Paul put himself at the feet of Jesus day in and day out and obeyed his every call. Have you hurt others in the past? The wonderful news is that even that can be forgiven in Christ, and you don't have to wait. Forgiveness from God received as soon as we ask, just as it was for Paul. However, our relationships with others are different. You may have to wait for God to restore that relationship. As others deal with hurt, you put them through. When we experience forgiveness and grace from God, the new lease on life that produces is so wonderful and freeing. Take a cue from Paul and spend every moment you can at the feet of Jesus waiting on him to refine you and prepare you for the ministry God has called you to. Miss you, Foundry Church. Hopefully we see you soon.